So I'm sitting here. Um, it'd be so hard for me to go to sleep at night because I'd just be thinking and thinking and thinking. Um, and I have to like, I got to try really, really hard to like have more power over my mind. Like I have to resist thoughts. I have to resist urges to like call a person that I know can't answer. Um, so many different things, so many different cycles that I experience. So I just be up and I be thinking and it's like, as I be up, I be having this fight in me. I be having this burning sensation. Like it's like, I want to do something. Um, it's like, I be feeling this anger, but it's like, I want to take that and channel it and like ball it up and put it into somewhere else. And I just be it's like I want to channel all of that energy, put it somewhere, put it somewhere useful, meaningful. Like, I just, I really want to see some change occur. Like, the world is fucked up. Our community, man, like, for real, it's fucked up on so many different levels. And I'm left here, you know, like, shoot, two of the closest people in my life are gone you know what I'm saying like I'm on a journey where it's like I'm really out here to you know kind of make find my way and I got a lot of support but I feel like I gotta do something and as much as I want to cry my eyes out as much as I want to I want to like go up under a rock don't say nothing I realize I can't do that I realize that the fire up inside of me is too strong. It can, I can't even put it out. I can't even extinguish it. Um, I don't know. I just feel like what Adolf deserved, what my brother Jeremy deserved. Like, I have to make sure that my children, my son, my brother's son... I just got to make sure that something is different to where that ain't their, they, like, that's not something that they succumb to, right? I just want to, I just want to see our people more so heal. Like, you, the, it's just so much that goes on in our community, man. Like, and if you're black and if you're from, I'm from Detroit, I've been seeing, I've been seeing young boys since I've been in elementary school get killed like just on stupid stuff you know like just it's just always been like that in their own community for nothing so it's just to this point so it's like I can't stop I can't I can't I can't be weak to a place of like if there's work to do and I, I like I can't do it like if I didn't have this spiritual strength if I didn't have a mind that works in the way that it does, I probably wouldn't have the strength to do anything. Um, but God didn't create me that way. And I'd be sometimes just asking, why you create me? Why don't you create me? But I realize that it is not because I'm a bad person. I really feel like, you know, God gave me an assignment because he felt like I was capable. Sometimes I'd be irritated, like, why I have to be so capable? Because I didn't want this. I didn't want this. I, I literally wanted my family. I like. I didn't want like I I wanted my family, <laughs> like period. Like I was cool with how life was with my family. I was cool. I, I was cool with doing what I did at the level that I did it, but having my family. So it's like this really be messing me up because I really be slick upset super upset like god like we gotta talk because this ain't cool but i'm just being patient and i'm i'm maintaining my faith because because honestly that's all i have I, that's all i have is faith right now that that for one you know what i'm saying i'll be reunited in heaven with my love or like I, like with everybody that i love from my father to my brother to to adolf like <laughs> 
I have faith in that. Like, that's all I have. Like, I want to be reunited, reunited with the people that I love. So I have faith in that. I have faith that it's purpose and what, what, what everything that's done in life, that there's purpose. And God created this whatever to happen, whatever it is, you know, this situation and every situation with intention and purpose. And so I have faith in that. That's all I have. So for anybody that's going through, lean in on God more than ever. You know, if you don't know him, get to know him. You know, if you're mad at him, forgive him. Like, remind yourself. Like, he also allowed his son to to be crucified. So, I mean, come on now. Like, he allowed that to happen to him. We all, you know, up for grabs, you know, in a sense. And not to sound, like, like, heartless about that. But I had to tell myself that. Like, I had to tell my son that. We was literally doing Bible verse, a Bible verse a week before everything happened. And I had to, I had to remind him of that because he wanted to be upset with God. And I just knew for a seven-year-old, it ain't time for you to lose faith in God. Like, you're too young. I can't have that. And I had to tell him, like, you know, if he allowed that to happen to Jesus, like, you know, daddy just was just, he's just as important, you know. So, for me, having a spiritual connection, that is sustaining. That is what has picked me up in my lowest of times and my hardest of days like um yeah just going into prayer meditating just like make no mistake I ain't a robot I'm not like oh this is nothing this is very much something but it's okay not to be okay and just keep a little faith because it'll get better. You know, I have an angel. I have two angels. I have three angels, actually. That's just with me, looking over me. And I'm okay. But I'm not okay. And I'll be okay. Right now, I'm really not okay. So, I wanted to just share that to let people know it's okay. Keeping me um yeah and you anybody experiencing loss you got angels too so just look to your angels look to god um get your strength from him and yeah when you see me when you see me and i look like i'm in fighter mode don't be surprised because i'm a rap for mine i'm a stick beside mine i'm gonna hold them down in life and in death and that's just how I'm, that's how I'm built. That's how I am. So don't be surprised. Some stuff got to change. I'm the Cinderella of the trap house. Yellow bad bitch. Make a nigga pull the stacks out. Know them niggas stock up they love. Got the big clout. I don't like to talk unless it's topic on the cash route. I don't have my time that I can waste. Page, page real thin like the size of my waist. I, I can't trust a nigga. I don't really like the way that he ain't coming with that pressure. Then we move him out the way. The cash in the safe. Black mess. Raw day. No some killers that'll bring it where you motherfuckers stay. These niggas don't pray. All you can do is pray when they yell put that chop in your motherfucking face On a, on a trap, puzzle with the lace from Blew up up a night, now I'm making a shella They see I'm up next, got my name in both fronts Since I'm resident in the business, cause I'm doing what she don't Me, me I'm doing what she want